Everyone out there knows the importance of training the six months before a big event. And everyone knows sort of the importance of eating a big meal the night before a big event. Um, but for instance, people ask me, what's the biggest mistake you see uh, of people going into their first century ride or their first grand fondo, their first big long event. And it's the exact same mistake that I see a lot of professional riders making going into a big one day race like Paris Roubaix or like the World Championships. The easy but difficult way to phrase this is in the, the last two weeks before the event are actually pretty much as important as the previous six months. You can completely deconstruct all of your training in those last two weeks. You can ruin everything in those last two weeks or Conversely, if you do everything right, you can actually improve almost as much as you did in the previous six months just in those two weeks. Now, how is that possible? Well, it's more about making sure the timing of your body's peak in its own cycles in those last two weeks before the event that you're hitting it just right. And what are the mistakes I typically see in that? Well, it's the two mistakes I see, very simply put, are people train too much or they train too little. Tapering is a commonly used training technique, which basically just means training less and less and less before the big event. Tapering too much will ruin your big event day just as much as training too much. If you train too much, you're exhausted for the big event. Your body will not perform at its level. If you taper too much, basically what happens is your body is it's too fresh. It's lost a lot of the edge that it had developed by that high level of training. So how to adjust for this? Because you want to be fresh and ready, but you also want to keep that fine, sharp edge. Here are the basics, and this is what we use with professional riders very successfully, is essentially this. Two weeks before the big event, you need to rest a lot. You need to over rest. You need to feel like you're doing too little. You need to be nervous about how little you're training that you're not going to be ready for your event. The week before your event, you need to be training as you normally would. Maybe backing off the intensity a little bit, maybe doing something crazy like we did with Sebastian Langeveld at the Paris Roubaix in 2017 when he podiumed and doing a long ride two days before the event. But remember, when we did that six hour ride two days before Paris Roubaix, we had over rested beforehand. It's not that we were just training hard and then did a six hour ride two days before the race. No, we over rested and then we started training back to a level right before the event and the week before the event. So that's my recommendation. Two weeks before the event, two weeks before rest, the week before train as you normally would and don't back off too much.